Yeah. Let's get back to the strange eccentric spinster. <laughs> you know, um, Bette is a spinster, and spinster is a very well-known literary trope, right? But she's a little bit more unusual because yeah. she's quite smart, and nobody know, thinks that she is. Nobody notices it except for this Doral one. and Earl. Yeah. But there's also, you know, she's found a way to, out of heterosexuality, but she's not gay. But she lives in the queer world. She's certainly not straight. She's found mm -hmm. a very good excuse to not be heterosexual. And what I was grappling with here is this thing that I've been thinking about quite a bit now that I'm in my 50s, of um, people who, man women my age, who manage to get out of heterosexuality. They might even have a queer identity, but they can't really do yeah. the relationship yeah. Yeah. or tell themselves that they can't. So they say, like, yeah. I don't do relationships or whatever. And you're like, yeah. what is that? What yeah. is that? What is that? Is that a wound? Is that, what is that about? What is the story? Because, you know, now that I'm older, I realize that everything is a yeah. story that we yeah. tell ourselves. And why do we tell ourselves that story? Yeah. And that the thing in life is to find another story, you know, to, to undo the stories that are keeping us trapped mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things yeah. about her that I was and interested Vivian in. Meyer, I was the same type, obviously. Uh, a marriage resistor. Okay, guess, that's the way to put it. Would be one way 